Hey everyone, it is your lovely host here. It is Team Harry. And how is everyone doing on this Saturday's edition? I am doing far out. Stay positive, wash your flipping hands, and stay away from people the best you can. And this will be over before you know it. Hopefully. Anyway, today is WrestleMania. A two night event. WrestleMania weekend kicks off tonight and tomorrow night. Yes, I know they recorded it way in advance. The reason they have to do that because I think Orlando is on lockdown, so it sucks. No fans will be attending this event first time ever in WrestleMania history, so it's going to be very, very weird. I think they're going to have a very awesome stage, hopefully. I don't think they're going to have bands. And all that good stuff. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I just hope it's going to be a good WrestleMania. Just stay positive. Just because there's no fans are going to be there. The we still could still have a great WrestleMania. You guys agree? Disagree? What matches are you looking forward to? Sp speaking of WrestleMania, my WrestleMania predictions are up on this YouTube channel. So look for it for crying out loud. Anyway. I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do it like that, maybe you want to show like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And, of course, the article will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, you're wondering how much does these wrestlers make in the WWE? A lot of money. Number one, Brock Lesnar, $10 million. $10 million. As a part timer, that's not only fair for the other superstars who was there 365 days a year, but he has special treatment. Number two, Roman Reigns, $5 million. Now, this guy deserves more money. He's there all the time. He was going to be there for WrestleMania, but he backed out. And of course, he will get another opportunity at, at the champion, whoever that will be, probably be Braun Strowman. So probably we'll see Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns like we see that before in the past. Number three, Randy Orton, $4.1 million as a part-timer. Wow, that's insane. He needs to retire. He's going up to an age. He just had a birthday not that long ago. Number four, Seth Rick around $4 million. He's, uh, I think he deserves more, okay? Number five, Triple H, $3.3 million, including executive pay. I think I said it correctly, so he gets double the pay. Number six, Beck Lynch, the man, $3.1 million. Uh, number seven, Bill Goldberg, the W Hall of Famer, the current champion right now, $3 million. That is a lot of chunk of change. Number eight, Shane O'Mac. $2.1 million. Number nine, the Bill Dollar Princess, seven man, $2 million, including executive pay. And the last but not least, number 10, Braun Strowman, $1.9 million. That's insane. Holy cow. You guys can read, read it, the rest of it, if you want to. Okay. Like I said before, these wrestlers make a lot of chunk of change, okay? Lots. They're not hurting for money. They're really not. That's a lot of money. Probably more money than the average person like myself and you, okay? That's crazy. Wow. Of course, Brock Lesnar is top of the food chain. And of course, John Cena is not on there because he hardly wrestles with the flipping company. Uh, the problem I have with Brock Lesnar, he's a part-timer, and he still get a lot of money in his damn pocket. That's not fair for the other males and the other female wrestlers, you know, who work their ass off 365 days a year, you know? I like Brock Lesnar back in the day when he was a full-timer. You know, the only reason he's in this predicament, he's in this WrestleMania match, because he's good for business. Now, there's rumors that possibly he's not going to be competing at WrestleMania. I don't know if that's really true. Not true. We'll find out tonight or tomorrow night. So, because I guess he's stuck in Canada. 
I think that's just a fake rumor. So hopefully the way delivers. And I guarantee the way was says I cannot wait until this wrestling is over with and start fresh next year in Los Angeles, California with lots and lots of fans. So and probably you know or don't know that April and May no live events. So all that you know, you're gonna have Raw and SmackDown, I think, at the performance center. or I heard rumor that possibility that we might have a off season. So they should have done it years ago, you know. And I don't know when they're gonna be a resuming. You know, like the NFL they have off season, NBA have off season, NHL off season, MLB. Everyone every pro sport has an off season, even college. Have off season, but not to the WWE for some damn reason. Have a good one. I'll see you guys tonight sometime. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe. The arc will be down below, and I'll see you guys tonight. Peace out.